morning y'all welcome back to another vlog welcome back to my channel it is monday morning and it is a rainy monday morning y'all and when i tell y'all whoo i stayed up a little late last night because we did watch well we watched the super bowl up until the halftime and then after that i was pretty much just chilling and doing some editing so i stayed up a little late and this morning it wasn't a struggle to get up but i definitely could have laid in bed a little bit longer but here we are. I'm grateful that this morning, Deshaun is here this week. So this morning he was on drop off duty for daycare and I did have a really good slow morning. It's almost nine o'clock. So it's time for me to get the work day started. So I am just getting started on my skincare. I'm about to go downstairs and pretty much get my day started. But I wanted to show y'all this book that I've been reading. This book, it's called The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. And y'all, this is a really good book. I have been enjoying it. The passages in here are very short. So I think it says that it's like 73 chapters, but all of the chapters are like less than two pages and they're very good. They're very insightful very meaty and like very inspirational and i've really been enjoying it i've been reading like a couple of chapters at a time but like this is something that is really good to probably like sit and digest and i just told myself this morning that i was going to um one thing that i want to do is i want to get a notebook and kind of like write all of my notes from books because it's very easy to forget what you've read i'm about to go downstairs fix my coffee breakfast get my to-do list going for today. I feel like in the mornings and definitely on Monday mornings, I kind of like start to feel like it's weird because I don't feel it on Sunday, but on Monday morning, it's kind of like sometimes I get like the Sunday scaries and um, it's like anxiety wants to start creeping in. And one thing that I do is I feed myself good things all throughout the day. So I'm literally about to put on a podcast. I did some reading this morning. Like when I start to feel this way, I definitely start to go inward instead of like sitting around, scrolling on social media or like, you know, looking at things that are not helpful. I tend to go in and really just try to fill myself up. And that really helps me. Also nourishment. Last year, there were so many times where I would have like anxiety and I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't drink water. And instead of doing that, I've learned that the best thing to do is just take everything one step at a time and to put one foot in front of the other. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Um, I'm also going to write out my to-do list because when I write out my to-do list, y'all, now then I feel like, okay, I'm going to have a productive Monday. Everything that I need to get done, I'm capable of doing. And then everything just doesn't live in my head because I just have like a million things going on all the time. So yeah, I'm about to go do that. And I'm probably, not even probably, I'm definitely going to get some work done for work today. Um, so yeah, let's get this Monday started. Let's have a great week. I'm speaking it now. It's going to be a great week in Jesus name. And yeah, we're just going to put one foot in front of the other. So let's go. Just a few more small things to put inside of her Valentine's Day basket. Okay, y'all, I was saying that I came to Target to just get a few more things that I wanted to put in Myla's, um, in her Valentine's Day basket. And I also wanted to go ahead and get a card for her and Hubs. And I pretty much waited until the last minute because tomorrow's Valentine's Day. So I really did not expect for them to have much. And I really wanted to get like some pink or red confetti to put at the bottom of her basket. But I still have the brown confetti that I had last year from Easter. And I'm also going to use the Easter basket that we used last year. I'm also going to use that for Valentine's Day because it's a basket and who cares. But I was able to find her like some sand. So I'm gonna go home, get my work day started, and then I'll show y'all what I'm putting inside of her basket for Valentine's Day, and then I'm gonna give it to her today. So yeah, girl, let's go ahead and get the day started. All right, y'all, I am back at home, and 
My first meeting is going to start at 10 a.m. The way I'm going to take care of myself today is I'm about to fix me a good breakfast. I think I'm gonna do a tofu scramble this morning. Have some good veggies, some spinach, some greens, like, and that's how I'm gonna take care of myself and make me a nice cup of blue bottle coffee because that coffee is so freaking good. And then I think I'll be ready for the day. so freaking excited when she sees it i think i'm gonna leave it in here in her room that way when she comes upstairs it's just like in the middle of her floor but i use this basket this basket i got from etsy last year for easter and i'm gonna continue to use this basket because we have a million baskets in this house and there's no need to buy a new one so i got this customized with her name and we're gonna get some good use out of it most of this stuff from Target. So I got this stuffed animal because my girl is in love with stuffed animals and I love that for her. I got this cute little Valentine's Day book. This sweatshirt, it says all the love. I also got that from Target, super cute. I got these Crocs, my girl loves Crocs. She has some white ones and they're too small and I wanted to get these for her initially but they were, um, out of her size last year so I ended up getting her white I'm so happy that now she has like this tan pair it's super cute also got her some little gibbets to go in there but they're not gonna be here in time like I accidentally forgot to order them so she's not gonna have those in time but that's okay because she'll have them and then I also got this little sippy cup because you can never have enough sippy cups as a toddler and then I got her this cute little card and I just wrote her a cute little message from me and her dad and then this is um, some sand that I bought. So I bought some like, uh, some type of sand from Target. You know, kids love arts and crafts and stuff like that. So I figured why not? So this is how it came out and it's so cute. I just finished filming a TikTok. So I put my little red pillow behind here because I just thought it would just be, you know, a cute little addition to the video. To the video. But it came out so cute. I'm so excited and happy for her. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, but I'm going to give it to her today. Girl, I'm done with my work meetings for the day. And I'm on pickup duty for Myla today. So I'm about to try to take like a 20, 30 minute nap. And then once I get up, I'll go pick up Miss Myla and figure out what we're having for dinner. We already have like all ingredients and stuff here. So I really need to edit last week's vlog so i'm probably gonna spend my afternoon doing that and then honestly i'm gonna try to get into bed early because myla has myla has been waking up throughout the night for a few weeks now so i'm kind of like kind of expecting that at this point though i hope she sleeps through the night so i'm gonna try to get in the bed and be asleep like before 10 tonight which gives me like two hours after Myla's bedtime to like do whatever I need to do. So we'll see. I probably will not finish editing my vlog tonight just given the rest that I'm trying to get. But anyways, let me go ahead and try to get this nap because girl, I'll be feeling so much better when I wake up and I have so much more energy and clarity. So I will talk to y'all in a little Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. I don't remember the last thing we talked about, but Girl, today is Thursday. I'm about to get ready to go into the office. Um, yesterday was so tiring because it was an all day in office day. And those days are just so draining to me. Like having to get dressed and go and just show up in person. It just feels like a lot. So I was very exhausted yesterday, but we thank God for rest. 
So now I'm just about to do my makeup um, before I get ready to head in. I have pretty much always been this type of person since I can remember. Um, especially once I kind of like moved out of my parents home but even when I was in my house like I remember you know I'm still being this way but let me just tell y'all how important it is to put something good in your ears like put something good in your ears that you can listen to that is going to help you grow help you change your mindset help you think differently because our life is really dependent on our thoughts and what we're thinking about and that drives like pretty much everything we do in life like our actions it drives what we say and so it's just really important to fill yourself up with some motivational things some of the ways that i like to do that is i like to listen to podcasts i listen to podcasts really often and the thing about me i'm pretty much a creature of habit so i feel like i listen to the same people for the most part um and then i might learn about someone new and if i really like their teaching i may like go down a rabbit hole and like you know listen to their teaching but i have quite a few different types of people that i like to listen to that kind of like enhance different areas of my life based on their experiences and some of the things that they teach that has really always been blessing me and i know that the more i do like fill myself up and listen to good things just the better I feel because the reality is we're all human so we're not gonna wake up every day like just feeling motivated and you know not necessarily feeling like you know the stars are all aligned we don't always feel that way but and honestly like I'm not into like forcing yourself to like feel different but I do think that there are ways that we can navigate this life that kind of help us change our mindset about certain things and helps us um, a healthier life. I was definitely feeling some type of way about having to go into the office for two days this week because if you don't get the hint now, I'm not an in-office girly. Like I do not like showing up at anybody's office by any means, but honestly just kind of changing my mindset around it, at least for this week. And that's the thing, you gotta take it day by day, girl. So like for this week, I was like, you know what? I gotta go into the office, but I'm gonna make the best of it. Yesterday was so productive. The first half of the day, I really um, just did some personal work on myself, which I'm grateful for. I was able to like spend a good four hours just working on my own personal like career roadmap and kind of like, um, you know, just visualizing and casting a vision for where I wanna see myself in my career, um, at least just like for the next year. So I spent some time doing that. And then today, um, I told myself I was not going into the office all day because that is just honestly an energy suck and very draining for me. But I do, I don't have to go to this training, but I'm gonna go cause like in general, I am practicing just showing up more, showing up for myself, showing up for my family and friends, showing up for like, I'm not doing this for anybody else. This is really just me showing up for my career and just doing it because um, there are things to be learned. So I'm gonna go to this training today, but through like reading and like hearing positive things, it's really helped my mindset because the way I navigate like my relationships with people at work is so different from how it was before. And I honestly just like attribute that to personal growth and like age, you know, the older you get, the less junior you get with your role and like with being in corporate and getting to know people is kind of like I start to navigate those spaces differently. So that's kind of where I am. I'm like at this pivoting place because last year for me and my job was so freaking stressful. It was like culture shock all over again. And honestly, like I pray that I would never have to go back into that type of space and into that type of environment. But I really feel like that was like a boot camp for me and I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about navigating the corporate space. Really what it taught me is like, girl, nobody knows me better than I know me and nobody can tell me anything about myself that um, I don't know. Not to say that I don't welcome feedback, but you also gotta have discernment with feedback. You gotta know when feedback is like 
actually align with your growth or you know what I mean like you just got to have a certain amount of discernment and all of that to say um the way I show up in my workplace is at least from an internal perspective like the way that I think about it is so different so I can do this I can do this I can go into the office I can show up for this training I can be present we're going to be talking about chat GPT and like different ways to use it and I do find that super helpful because if you don't know girl chat AI is taking off this is something that I will be interested in learning about I probably I don't think I've ever shared this with y'all but I am in the tech industry um, so yeah I'm in the tech industry and I work in corporate so my, I'm gonna be using this Patrick Ta blush which I really like I've only used it one other time so I'm excited to use it again this blush is very pink and very pigmented I have this idea of like what I want my life to look like and my working life and the type of work-life balance I want to have I'm starting to have an idea of like what I want to do and I'm starting to go after those things and God has just given me a desire and for some reason in my mind I truly believe that all of these things can come to pass I've always what I feel today about my life and my career and about my work-life balance and like how I envision my life in the years to come is no different than I felt like when I was in college before I even started my corporate job. The seasons are different, the seasons are changing, I'm growing and I'm just ready to start, you know, making steps to make some changes in my life. And I truly believe that God has given all of us the ability to know what, you know, what works best for us and what our hearts, desire, hearts desires are. And I'm just in a space where you know, I'm I'm here for the journey. I'm, that's just like some of the things that I've been thinking about today. This blush is very pigmented. So the last time I put it on, I was like blushed out. So um, I put a lot less on my brush than I did last time because girl, you will be looking like very rosy. It's so funny because when I do makeup, I, I like work around my glasses because I do prefer glasses over contacts. I have wore contacts before and I do like the way I look without contacts, but for some reason they just like make me really tired. So I only wear contacts on occasions, but glasses are very comfortable for me. I've been wearing glasses since I was like six years old, so I'm very used to them. That is the makeup for today. I'm about to wash my makeup brushes, go ahead and change my clothes and have lunch because lunch is in a few minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and have lunch and then i'm gonna get ready to head to the office for this training so i will talk to y'all in a little bit is there a certain type of like product we should be using to wash our makeup brushes i don't know but i'm gonna show y'all what i use i use my facial cleanser to wash my makeup brushes which this feels pretty empty i think it's time to re-up on this but yeah this is what I use to wash my makeup brushes and it works just fine. I feel like if I use it for my skin, I should be able to use it for my brushes. But if y'all know something different, let me know in the comments because this is what I've been using. It's the end of the weekend. But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? What's up, y'all? Happy Friday I am getting ready to go pick up Hubs and Miss Myla Today as y'all saw, I made my coffee. I don't really have a goal not to drink coffee out, but because that blue bottle iced coffee or the blue bottle coffee is so good, I really just don't see a need to spend seven to ten dollars on a coffee here in Atlanta. So yeah, got my iced coffee and also I don't know if I showed y'all this or not, but for Valentine's Day, Hubs got me some of my favorite bakery items. So I got these cookies from one of my favorite bakeries, and I'm gonna have that as a little snack. I'm gonna go 
picked them up and I don't know what we're doing today. I have no idea. We may end up just coming back home, so we'll see. I know tomorrow we're probably going to spend some time with our godparents, so we'll probably go over there. I finally finished editing last weekend's vlog, so I'm very excited to be done with that and to upload that this evening. So I got everything ready for that to go. I always love when I have productive days and I get like everything done on my personal to-do list. That way the evening time I can just like spend time with family and just enjoy that time and know that I've had a productive first half of the day. Let's get going. I'm already late to pick up Deshaun. I was supposed to be there at 3 o'clock and it's 3 o'clock now so let me get moving because I'm pretty sure he's gonna be calling me soon. So I will talk to y'all in a little bit. Y'all, I have to share with y'all something that happened to me yesterday. It was quite literally the wildest thing that has happened to me in a while. But I was on my way to work because I had to go into the office yesterday. I think I told y'all that. So I had to go into the office and I was on my way to work. I was listening to Beyonce. And Erica Badu had just came on, so I was listening to my girl Erica, you know, just vibing. But I had my phone in my hand because I was about to change the song to something else, right? So I had my phone in my hand, and I got a ticket, like, maybe about two months ago, maybe three months ago. Sometime late last year, I got a ticket because I had my phone in my hand while I was driving. I was at a stop sign, y'all. And I was checking my work email, but in Georgia, you're not allowed to have your phone in your hand or any devices when you're driving. I have my phone in my hand and I see a cop car, like a cop truck to like the front left of my car, but the cop car is coming the opposite way. So I know that they see me and as soon as they see me, they literally like slow down. The man looks at me and he starts turning his car around like in the middle of the road to get behind me. So I'm like, oh my gosh, he about to give me a ticket. It, let me go ahead and put my hazards on because I already know what's about to happen. So I put my hazards on and the cop car comes up literally like right beside me. And I roll down my window because I'm like, okay, what is he about to say to me? He obviously doesn't have like his um, his flash, his um, flashes on or anything, but I really wasn't noticing that. I was really just nervous that I was about to get a ticket he pulls up beside me and it's two black guys in the car two black cops and he pulls up and the one that's driving is like you are such a distraction and I was like huh what'd you say like I was trying to make sure I heard him clearly because I didn't know if he was saying that I'm a distraction or I'm distracted because I didn't know like if he was trying to say hey you're distracted on your phone and he's like you're a distraction and I'm like how and I'm like joking and smiling like how And he was like you are so beautiful and I was like oh my gosh thank you and I was like is that all you have to say to me and he's like no can you pull over to the side of the road so at this point I'm like okay he's definitely about to give me a ticket like yeah he's being nice yeah he's telling me that I, you know look beautiful but he's also about to give me a ticket so he pulls me over to the side of the road and literally comes up to my car and says hey you are so beautiful can I get to know you and I was like no I'm married he's like but can we still exchange numbers and I'm like oh no and I show him my ring and I'm like oh no like nah we can't do that afterwards I'm like did I really just get pulled over to get holiday like is that what we doing now? I'm just grateful that I didn't get no ticket because I definitely had my phone in my hand at the time. Just 
trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all, that literally has not happened to me in a while. I just finished talking to y'all and I realized that my camera was in slow mo. I'm so glad that I caught it early on because I feel. I've filmed like content after content after content and it's all been in slow-mo and that is really brazy. I was just trying to tell y'all that Target was acting real like shady today. There were things that they definitely had in stock. I feel like they were just like in the back but they hadn't like put it out on the shelves. I ended up having to get a couple of things that like, let me just show y'all. So. I was looking for the Lavender Bar Soap by Dr. Bronner's that I really enjoy. They didn't have it there. They said they had... I ended up getting this rose-scented um, Dr. Bronner's body wash. I'm definitely a body soap type of girl. Like, I always feel like I have to have body soap, the bar soap. They didn't have it in stock, so I'm just going to come back within the next few days. I'm sure that I have at least one bar of soap at the house because I like to buy in bulk. So I'm just going to come back and try to see if they have what I need. I think this will work for now. Deshaun has his own body wash. So I'm in my rose scented era. Like I love rose everything. We went to our godparents house last night and we were opening up gifts still from Christmas. And my godmom literally got me um, some rose bubble bath. She got me a rose candle and she got me some rose lotion because she knows I love rose scented everything. So it was very on brand for me to get this body wash. Um, and I know I'm gonna love it because I love rose everything so and then I ended up getting like um, The diapers that I like to get from Myla are the Millie Moon diapers. They work really well And I like the honest wipes for her so pick those up and then just some regular snacks and stuff And then let me just show y'all if you have a baby or a toddler you need these so these boogie products are really top tier these boogie wipes have saline in them I don't use them super often because I think it's like 30 wipes in here and it's like maybe like $7 a pack. But when she really needs them or like when we have them out of convenience, I definitely tend to use them. And these just help you like when you wipe, wipe their nose, it helps them breathe better and then it also obviously gets their boogers out. So I love this for her and I use them for her all the time. And then this saline mist obviously is saline. When Myla was a baby, she literally hated when we did this to her nose, but now she's like fascinated by it and she loves it. Um, but you pretty much just use this tip and you squirt it up their nose and it literally helps clear their nose out of all of being stopped up. If you're trying to get your baby to go to sleep at night or like help them feel comfortable throughout the day, this literally helps so well. And then afterwards you can either like suck their nose out or just wipe their nose and it really does the job. It's now 11.45 so... By the time we get to the car wash and get through the car wash, first of all, as y'all can see, I work for a toddler, so hold on. Um, I'm giving my little snack. I need to figure out what she's having for lunch, but we're going to go to the car wash. By the time we finish the car wash, our Kroger pickup order should be ready because they said that they were going to be ready by 12. And then after that, we're probably going to head home. Milo will be ready for a nap in the next hour, hour and a half. I may or may not take a little 20 minute nap today, we'll see. Anyways, let's get moving. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Alright y'all, we have certainly hit one of my favorite parts of the day, which is the wind down evening part. I had me a nice warm bubble bath and I am quite ready to get in the bed. Tomorrow starts a new week and God knows I love to go into my week refreshed and feeling well rested. So I'm probably just not even going to push the envelope tonight. Cause I was thinking about trying to stay up but at the end of the day what I realized is if I don't have rest I'm not able to function at my full capacity like I need to so I'm about to get ready for bed make me some tea have a little bit of dessert I made some lasagna for dinner which came out really good that was my first time making lasagna and 
I really enjoyed it and it was so easy to make. It was almost like, why do we ever buy food out? Because, side note, I don't really like the food in Atlanta. I don't know if it's just me, but like, people in Atlanta really don't be putting love into their food. Like the restaurants, the food isn't that good. And, um, it's so overpriced. Like, why do things, why does food cost so much in Atlanta? I don't know, cause it don't even be that good. But anyways, the lasagna came out really good. So yeah, I am so full and I'm just ready for bed. But I'm also gonna go ahead and end this vlog. So I hope y'all enjoy this week's vlog. This is gonna be like a true week vlog because I think I started this on Monday and now today is Sunday. So we got like a full week in the life. So I hope y'all enjoy this week's vlog. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.